everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm reviewing TIFF. So I called a put in this, the 90 puts expiring next Friday. So this has a little bit of time in it. I want to put out though that this dropped down uh, close to the strike on Tuesday. So I called it Tuesday, dropped into the number on Tuesday. And again, if you're in it, you're in it and you're holding it or what? Or you are going to uh, just do it as a day trade where you're in the same day and out or you're in the one day and you're out the next day or you're holding it for a longer term. Now, I gave a lot of targets for this and I'm just going to go over this here briefly. But, you know, you really got to watch this. If you did not, if you could have scalped out of this trade with profit into the close on Tuesday and you can start to do that with some of my options trades for everybody on the list. If you did not get in and quick get out, which you could have done on Tuesday with profit, then, because you can do these trades as day trades, by the way, then you're waiting for this to break the low. When is it going to break the low? Well, if the market falls again tomorrow, this will break the low tomorrow on Thursday. I don't know where the market opens tomorrow morning or where it gaps. I don't even know how it trades into the open. I'll see it when I see it. But the next number would be 89. If it gets down there, I absolutely think it breaks it. Question is, does it get down there tomorrow, Friday? It's got a little bit more than a week. But in these markets, my advice to everyone in the options letter is the following. Be prepared for extreme volatility. If you want to hold these trades to bigger moves, then you're going to, you're going to pay the piper. What does that mean? It means some trades you're going to be up and they're going to completely turn around into losers and then they could completely flip around into huge winners in the time of the option alone. So you need to know really what you're doing with these trades to get out of them before you even take them. So some people messed up the spy trade I called last week, which I'll have to do another video later. But they took the trade. The trade was up into the open. It was up. And then when it started going, dropping down, got out with a loss. So you could have gotten out of that trade with money right into the open or, you know, you, you would have held it. But what you don't want to do is have an ill-timed exit in these trades that I am calling. So TIFF is one where it is extremely weak. This is on its own without the market. I was watching it and then I said, you know what, this looks like it's ready to break. But again, is it going to happen this week? I do not know. I do not know because it's we've had a short week. So if this is up tomorrow and doesn't break 89, but it's still a profitable trade, same thing on Friday, you will have to decide if you're going to follow it into the next week. But know that any of these trades that I call in the whole next year, if you're on the letter in 2019, are going to be very similar uh, really to the last few where they could be completely up and then completely down. They could be completely down and then be completely up. So what I'm saying to you is I wouldn't trade going forward in 2019 looking for some massive risk to rewards in all your trades. And I would not change what you're doing in every trade either, which some of you are. Before you enter the trade, you need to know where you are going to get out. That day, the next day, at a target, are you timing it with the market? I mean, there's just so many things I could go over here. I'm going to discuss this more in the options class, which I'm not doing till January. Uh, some of you are signed up for it. Some of you are not. If you're on the letter, I think you should sign up for that class. It's priced very well. But in any event, this here you need to watch tomorrow on Thursday. It could drop and break. And if it breaks and drops and breaks 89, follow it through for a big move, and then I would get out not knowing what next week brings with the market. If it does not break tomorrow, but it's up Thursday and Friday, but doesn't break 89, your chance to get into next week if the market flips around, even though this really is still lower. And you will be up in this. I mean, you were up in this into the close Friday. Do not take trades that you are up money in. I don't care if they're day trades or options trades, actually. Do not have profitable trades that you let completely lose against you in the coming year. It's going to happen often to people. Don't let it happen to you. Know when you take a trade, where you're getting out, and when. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.